that there are some people in your orbit who are either voting for Donald Trump or considering it? For sure. A lot of my friends are obviously my age, so we're a little younger. <laughs> We've only voted once, you know, for actually for a president. And Trump is kind of all we know. And they're kind of Trump and Biden. They're like, well, we were broke with Biden. We weren't with Trump. And that's kind of the only thing that I'm hearing over and over again, over and over yeah. again, is that, well, Trump, we had money. Well, okay. All right, guys. So stories like this are why you have people who usually vote Democrat turning to Trump. And the reason why is because people are fed up with the America last agenda that is being pushed by the Democrats and the establishment. And the America last agenda is being pushed on a national stage by the illegal immigration crisis that has shown up to these liberal cities where everybody is saying how Democrats are going out of their way to take care of illegals in ways that they never really have for American citizens. Like, for example, with this story right here, uh, out of New York City, Eric Adams is essentially launching a $53 million program to hand out prepaid credit cards to illegal immigrant families. Now, this, in practice, really is just food stamps for migrants, okay? The cards are intended to feed the illegal immigrants and their families. A family of four, for example, could receive up to $1,000 per month in what essentially is just food stamps. And the reason why they're doing this is because the illegal immigrants apparently don't like the food that they're being served, okay? So they're saying, well, you know, instead of giving them food that is being pre-prepared and cooked at $11 per meal, which I think is quite a bit, Okay, $11 per meal is going to illegal immigrant families that are also living in hotels that is also costing uh, New York hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, they don't like that food. And they're saying, well, we just rather not eat that food. We really don't want to eat that food. We want to be able to cook our own food. So New York is saying, okay, well, you know what? We will do this. Okay, we'll give you food stamps to allow you to buy your own food. Uh, therefore, we don't waste so much food uh, cooking you food that you don't want to eat. Which, again, is fascinating, right? You have these people who are coming over from other countries claiming that they're being politically persecuted, seeking asylum, demanding hotels, demanding jobs, demanding clothes, demanding food, okay? These <laughs> illegals are uppity, okay? They're very, very, very uppity. They're demanding to live nicer than a lot of American citizens are living, even though these people don't pay taxes, okay? But again, they're demanding that our taxpayer dollars be used to give them a life that we don't even give to taxpayers. Again, it's pretty fascinating stuff. I'm not sure how you come into somebody else's country claiming that you're seeking asylum because you're being politically persecuted. Uh, you come in from a place that you would assume is very poverty stricken, okay? You're not living a great life. But yet you come over to another country and you demand the finer things, right? Things that American citizens don't even get, okay? You're talking about living in, you know, three, four, five-star hotels uh, and demanding uh, the food that you want to eat, okay? You're rejecting the food that has been given to you as if you should have an option, okay? As if you're entitled to whatever you want. Again, it's fascinating stuff, extremely uppity. Okay, so that being said, let's react to this news clip so you guys can get a better understanding of the food stamps for illegal immigrants program that Eric Adams is pushing. Well, questions being raised tonight about a new pilot program that'll give migrant families a reloadable prepaid credit card to buy food and baby supplies. All right, it would replace the food boxes given to asylum seekers staying in hotels. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso has more on how it would all work. Some migrant families will soon be given prepaid credit cards to buy food and baby supplies. The mayor's office says the city is partnering with Mobility Capital Finance to launch a more cost-effective program. Right now, the city has contracts with food services who provide non-perishable food boxes to shelters. They will start with 500 migrant families with children in short-term hotel stays. So remember... These non-perishable food boxes, one of the reasons why they're doing this is because the migrants said, no, we don't want to eat this, okay? We don't like eating this, so therefore, we demand uh, other options, okay? And that's one of the reasons why they're doing this. I want you guys to understand. Also, I what I want you to understand is that um, there's no real enforcement in regards to these uh, illegals 
uh, having to purchase food with these prepaid cards, okay? It's literally just an honor system where they sign a pledge saying that we're only going to spend the money on food and baby supplies, but there doesn't really seem to be any real enforcement in regards to what they're buying, okay? So like any government program, uh, you can already see how this could be a train wreck simply because, again, there's a lack of enforcement and oversight in regards to what they're actually allowed to buy. The cards can only be used at bodegas, grocery stores, supermarkets, and convenience stores. But again, doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing that they can buy because some grocery stores sell other things as well too outside of food and baby supplies. Um, you can already see how this can be abused, okay? There's definitely gonna be some abuse of this program. We're just giving this migrant population more free stuff uh, at the expense of New York City taxpayers. In a statement, the mayor's office says in part, quote, not only will this provide families with the ability to purchase fresh food of their culturally relevant diets and the baby supplies of their choosing, but the pilot program is expected to save New York City more than $600,000 per month or more than $7.2 million annually. I'm not going to be thankful that a program that was bloated and inefficient is somehow uh, cheaper to just give away free money to people in the hopes that they feed themselves. According to the New York Post, this pilot program will cost the city $53 million. The amount loaded on the card will depend on the family size. They're deflecting attention away from their incompetency um, and they're not holding accountable the people that had prior contracts. Paramalu is with artists, athletes, and activists. He says the Adams administration is setting up the migrants for failure. Purchasing food at the supermarket is not cheap anymore. And on top of that, they don't have kitchens. So how are they going to purchase the food that they want? The families who get these credit cards will be required to sign an affidavit swearing they will only use them for food or baby supplies. Those who violate the terms could be kicked out of the program. In Midtown, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Yeah, so clearly and obviously, this is a program that is susceptible to abuse, right? I mean, like, come on. Our own food stamp system here for American citizens gets abused every single day. In fact, I think it should be abolished, okay? I personally think that the American food stamp system should be those uh, meals that we send to uh, Africa, right? For, you know, the people over there that's hungry. You know, like the, the freeze-dried meals that provide all the essential nutrients that is needed to survive. I actually think that we should replace food stamps with that, right? Anybody that's living off uh, food stamps, nah, you don't just get to go to the store and purchase chicken and shrimp and steak and to live high off the hog off taxpayer dime. No, it, it should actually really hurt to be on food stamps. Yeah, you got to eat slop, right? Slop <laughs> that is equipped with the vitamins and mi minerals that you need to survive. So it's not cruel, but... It's not something that people uh, are going to want to eat every day and, you know, they get sick of it and then that incentivizes them to actually work, right? So, again, if we're going to be feeding the illegals, then that's what we need to be giving them, right? We need to be giving them the bare minimum, okay? We need to be giving them those freeze-dried meals that we send overseas for charity. We need to do that so that um, they're not incentivized to come here and think that they're going to get, you know, these nice meals and be able to buy chicken and steak and shrimp. These <laughs> these illegals, they're going to turn these hotels into houses, right? Eventually, they're, they're just going to be houses for illegal immigrants. They're going to take over the kitchen. They're going to have access to the whole facility. It's going to be where they live. And uh, it'll all be paid for by taxpayer dime. Again, every Democrat policy when it comes to taking care of these illegal immigrants just incentivizes more to come to the border, right? Because they know that when they get here, they're going to get luxury treatment at the expense of taxpayers, okay? They're going to be living better than the taxpayers here. So with that being said, you have some people, like for example, 50 Cent, who saw this news and now he's reacting to the news by basically saying that, hey, maybe Trump is the answer because this is crazy, right? 50 Cent took to Instagram to tell his 30.9 million followers what the F, Mayor Adams, call my phone. I don't understand how this works. Somebody explain. Ari Mebler can't explain this. I'm stuck. Maybe Trump is the answer, right? Again, it's amazing how Democrats have to literally, you know, be lunatics in order for people to understand that maybe just maybe you shouldn't vote for these people, right? Maybe, just maybe they don't have your best interest at heart, okay? And you know, we know 50 Cent 
is the same guy that got a whole lot of backlash from the left when he suggested that he may support Trump or that he didn't like the Democrat uh, taxation policies before the 2020 election. Okay, you have people like Chelsea Handler, uh, who apparently thinks that because she had some black DNA inside of her at various points in her life, <laughs> that she can tell a black man how to vote, right? I mean, we all remember that story. Um, but again, people like 50 Cent, they know what the deal is, right? They know what's up. They understand what's going on here, right? So again, he's speaking out about this because people can clearly and obviously see the writing on the wall in regards to who Democrats care about and who they don't care about, okay? So uh, this is what people said in the comment section. The Hodge twin said, NYC voted for crazy leftist politicians that wanted to make it a sanctuary city for illegals. This is the result. This person says, everybody in the world gets relief from America, but Americans. This guy, who seems to be woke, says, that Trump shit isn't funny. He's set back black people <laughs> back decades already just with his Supreme Court picks. <laughs> Amazing. Trump was always the answer. Exactly. All of those homeless veterans in NYC. Terrence uh, Murphy says, but we still can't get reparations. A hate bill passed and our ancestors literally built this country by hand. It's a joke. Again, you know, all these woke revolutionaries that keep talking about they won't reparate. You're not getting reparations, right? We need to just stop giving out handouts to everybody, right? I'm keeping it 100, okay? Nobody's getting handouts. Illegals don't need handouts, okay? We don't need reparations. But again, that's what a lot of people take away from this is that, well, illegals can get this, but we can't get reparations. Well, no, illegals shouldn't be getting handouts and we shouldn't be passing out reparations either, okay? Uh, what we really need to be doing is creating an economy that works for everybody, that people can pull themselves up by their bootstraps and to uh, sustain themselves without the government, right? That's exactly what we should be incentivizing people to do. Um, this person said, this is wild, disrespectful to all American citizens. It's like they pissing us off on purpose. Uh, this person says, crazy, we're compensating illegal immigration. After people busted themselves to get papers, buy flights, etc., to get into this country the right way, they pay and wait for a bunch of uh, naturalization applications to get approved and they just letting these people have everything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, you got people who did it the right way, who paid to do it the right way and they didn't get this type of treatment, but you got people who are doing it the wrong way, who are breaking the law, who are taking advantage of the asylum system and they're benefiting from it, right? They're getting a shortcut. Again, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, yeah, uh, with that being said, um, as you can see here, uh, it's stuff like this that red pills people. It makes people realize that Trump was not the enemy, right? Trump was not the cause of all our problems when he was in office. <laughs> in fact, the country was in a much better place under Trump. It's just sad that um, people have to go through the experience of having Democrats in office and the experience of their Kugel for Cocoa Puffs policies that show that they don't actually care about the American people, that they actually believe in Americans last for people to realize that, hey, maybe just maybe, you know, Trump wasn't that bad and you made the wrong choice when you allegedly voted Biden in the office. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.